Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Leaky for me coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now look, 7 p.m. Central Time, daily uploads, bro. You already know what time it is. If you're not here on time, I'm gonna teach you a valuable lesson because you need to learn by now. I don't know how many videos I done made, but I done told you over and over not to be late. Now you have to suffer the consequences, my nigga. You asked for it. But I appreciate the support nonetheless. Finally free. I'm going to keep on saying it, man. Finally free. Finally finished up my school shit. It took long enough, man. God damn. But look, that's not what this video is about. This video is about eight most disturbing things caught on dash cam. Now, guys, you shouldn't be scared of this. This is a simple video. If you're scared, you are a burger. Don't be a burger, my guy. Don't be a burger. But I got my Burger King headset, as you can see. Let's get the video cooking, man. Wait, wait, that's I like that song. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Who can it be now? That's a banger. That's a banger. I actually have that song on my playlist, guys. No bap. You shouldn't be scared of this guy. This dash cam footage was captured in the early morning hours of May 2nd, 2023 in Browns Plains, Australia. In so, it, a white car can be seen traveling through a series of roundabouts. I ain't gonna keep pausing the video. Guys, I'm sorry for pausing the video we just started. But nigga, Australia, bro. You niggas that live in Australia, man, I, I don't think I've had a supporter tell me that they're from Australia. But bro, nigga, y'all, bro, do y'all, y'all living life on fucking hard mode, bro. Expert, expert level, bro. Y'all got big ass spiders, snakes, kangaroos. Now y'all niggas got ghosts and shit. Come on, bro. Before continuing on a straight road. Everything seems calm at first, but just 10 seconds into the video, something pretty messed up was caught by the driver's dash cam. The person walking? Fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, rewind that. Rewind that, bro, because y'all niggas got my blood boiling already. The video just fucking started, bro. I see this nigga walking. Wait, wait, rewind it, because you know I be like to analyze, bro. Look, look, because you niggas finna piss me off. Look, 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 look. You got the person walking right there, right? Nigga plotting. Look, look at nigga plotting, right? And then she run into the street. Boom. Get hit on purpose and shit, right? The nigga come out of nowhere. Wait, stop. You niggas try to set me up, my nigga. I'm running both of y'all niggas over. All under the wheels, my nigga. All under the wheels. And I might damn near reverse back, drive forward, circle the block. Nigga, I'm going to run your ass over five more times. <laughs> you trying to set a nigga up? Because first off, you think I'm slow. I watched your dumb ass. I watched you. I watched you. I watched you. Look, look, look. I watched you jump into the car, my nigga. You are not slick. So as soon as you got on this ground, right? And then as soon as your little counterpart, your, 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 your co-partner or whatever counterpart, this nigga tried to, wait, wait. Nigga, I'm running both of y'all niggas over, bro. I'm not going to lie. Fuck y'all. Niggas trying to rob people and shit. People just trying to live their life, bro. Disturbingly, a woman can be seen crossing the street right when the car is going by and practically throws herself at the vehicle. A couple of seconds later, a man rushes towards the alleged victim and tries to get the driver to stop. Though the driver had the common sense to drive away as fast as possible. This shit. Had the driver been distracted or shocked by the incident, he might have made the mistake of stopping and getting out to see if the victim was okay. It had to be a it had to be. the man and woman's bad acting made it more than obvious that something suspicious was going on, and that the driver would probably have been in danger had he gotten out of his It had car. to be a dude driver, it's bro. It's hard to accurately gauge the intentions of someone crazy enough to launch themselves into oncoming traffic and put themselves in the line of danger like that. He but stayed. according to the description in the original video, the driver initially thought that the whole incident was staged to pull off an insurance scam in which the supposed victim and an accomplice stage an accident, fake a severe injury, and then exaggerate their claim to receive compensation for medical expenses from the insurance company. Although this was the driver's first thought, the reason he drove off so quickly was something completely different. 
Later that same morning, the driver reported the incident to the police and mentioned in his statement that even though it wasn't captured by the dash cam, as soon as the man on the side of the road rushed out to help the supposedly injured woman, a group of men could be seen emerging from the shadows and sprinting toward the vehicle from behind. Realizing the danger he would be in if he got out of the vehicle, the driver took off immediately to avoid a potential carjacking, extortion, or even kidnapping. Ain't no telling, bro. According to the Browns Plains Police Station, an investigation was launched after the report, but the people involved were never found. It's unknown what would have happened to the driver had he gotten out of his car to assess the woman's supposed injuries. He's or even a shit, bro. A bit literally, in his car. literally, bro. One can only assume that the men were trying to get him out of his car for some horrific purpose. And she's and she's a special character too, a DLC in character because they put in, look. You see, it wasn't the man who got fake hit. They didn't put the dumb bitch to do it. Typical, typical. And she, her dumb ass didn't got. <laughs> YouTuber named Bear with Hat uploaded this alarming Stupid, footage bro. that he recorded on his phone in June of that year. In the caption of the video, the uploader explained that after leaving his friend's house in Keller, Texas, he noticed a white Dodge Challenger traveling closely behind him. Suspecting that he was being followed, he pretended to enter the I-35 highway but swerved onto a service road at the last second. To his horror, the white car then also swerved onto the service road and continued to follow him. In an attempt to shake off the white car, Bear with Hat made a sudden U-turn at an overpass and pulled over on the other side of the highway. When he saw the Dodge still following closely behind him, he sped off and pulled over into a turning lane in front of a hospital at the next intersection. That's when the white car stopped right in front of him with their left turn signal still flashing, and this is where things take a darker turn. What? That's crazy as shit, bro. He driving a fast ass car, it seems like. Just a few seconds after the uploader started recording to try to get the car's license played, a man steps out of the driver's side of the Dodge and approaches the car. Another man who wasn't caught by the victim's phone was also getting out of the car, but the uploader hightailed it out of there before he could clearly catch him on his camera. In the description of the video, the victim also mentioned that if the man on the passenger side had not gotten out of the way in time, he would have ran him over and kept on driving. At some point during his escape, the uploader dropped his phone on the floor of his Hyundai Elantra to focus on the road and headed to a grocery store that he knew would probably have a cop standing outside. As soon as the driver of the Dodge saw him head towards the officer, he broke off the pursuit and fled in a different direction. Because of the uploader's well-timed reaction and quick thinking, we'll likely never know what the two men were from that night. This shit is actually sickening, behavior, bro. He it couldn't have been anything good. Setting people up to rob him, bro. This I mean, I'm just glad. Him. I'm just glad that people are getting away safely and nobody is harmed in the process, bro. But, bro, things can go left really, really quick, bro. You really got to be on your shit, man. You really got to be on your shit, bro. Trust your gut, things like that. Your gut is never wrong, bro. Because me personally, bro, me personally, I might have started blasting, bro. I'm not going to lie. I might have started blasting, bro. You feel me? It could have it could have went it could have escalated well above that, bro, cuz now I'm like, "All right, you following me, bro? Like, come on, bro. Like, why are you following me, bro?" You feel me? Especially if I got my homies with. You feel me? If I got my homies with me, it definitely could have went left. Nigga start shooting and everything now. You feel me? November 2nd, 2014, and shows a car speeding down Highway 78 at around midnight. A few seconds later, the video shows the driver slowing down to avoid hitting a suspicious roadblock up ahead, consisting of just two traffic cones blocking the entire road. Step in front of my As fucking the driver brings his car to a stop, his headlights eerily catch the lower half of a man's body walking suspiciously towards his vehicle. When he tries to drive through the cones, the man stands in his way, blocking the car's path. Sensing something is off, the driver immediately calls out to the man to try to get an explanation. Can I, what's going on? Can I help you with something? Yes. 
Good shit, bro. It probably wasn't the best idea to engage with a man who put cones in the middle of the highway. But then again, they could have been there for any number of reasons. In the caption of the video, the uploader mentioned that as soon as he asked him if he needed help, he saw the man reach into his pocket, and that's when the driver decided to play it safe and sped away. According to the uploader, the man and his accomplice were later detained by the cops, but were somehow only charged with DUI. If the man had been given more time, it's anyone's guess what he would have done. See, but luckily the driver didn't stick around long enough to see. Find out. See, I told y'all, bro. Look, it's it's people out here that be having fake this police lights and stuff. This extremely disturbing incident took place at about 7 a.m. on May 18th, 2021, in West Pensacola, Florida. In the nigga, that's down the street from me. Bro, I live like an hour from Pensacola, bro. Like an hour, 20 minutes, or something like that. No, keep that weird shit away from me, buddy. Footage that was caught by a nearby parked car's dash cam, an 11 year old girl can be seen kneeling on the grass waiting for a bus to pick her up for school. A few seconds into the video, a white Dodge Journey circles around the girl, and although she notices it, she doesn't seem to be alarmed. Unfortunately, the man at the wheel of the Dodge wasn't just casually driving around the neighborhood as the girl might have imagined. Just a minute and a half later, the same white car pulled over at the edge of the roundabout, with the driver completely oblivious to the fact that his license plates were being recorded. Once again, the little girl turns her head and looks at the white car several times, but with no real reason to be afraid yet, she stays where she is. That's when the driver gets out of the car and does the unthinkable. Nigga, we know what's gonna happen. You talk about the unthinkable. This nigga's a fucking weirdo, bro. Bro, I hate to see shit like this, bro. Come on, dog. Like... Somebody's fucking child, bro. And you fucking doing weird shit, bro. Come In on, bro. In an act bro. of pure evil, the man attempts to steal the girl and carry her back to his car. The girl bravely struggles against his grip, and eventually the man stumbles, causing both of them to fall on the grass. Now she fucking traumatized, you fucking weirdo, bro. The man bro. runs back to his car and drives away. Bro, sometimes it's I just hate to people, think what bro. What would happen to the girl had the man not tripped and fallen? Sometimes I just Luckily, hate his people, bro. Play made it easy for cops to track him down and arrest him that same evening. Later that night, the West Pensacola Sheriff's Department identified the suspect as 30-year-old Jared Paul Stanga. According to the police fucking report, weirdo, bro. Armed. Fucking fat ass, bro. Literally, like, bro, this shit, this shit. I'm, I'm not gonna keep pausing the video, but this shit be getting me worked up, bro. What be wrong with niggas, man? Did your mom not fucking love you, at, bro, as a child, bro? You doing drugs, bro? Like, what the fuck is wrong, bro? Somebody's child, bro. This is somebody's child, bro. That's why. That's why I'm glad, bro. I'm glad. I hope this nigga. They, they know. They gonna know what you did and why you in jail, bro. And they gonna handle you accordingly. Accordingly, they got. They're gonna handle you accordingly, buddy. I'm talking about back shots galore. Diddy style, nigga. <laughs> Diddy style back shots, nigga. You doing it, daddy? That's what they gonna be telling you in jail, bro. Keep doing. No, that's what you gonna be saying. Keep doing it, daddy. Diddy style, bro. You deserve that shit. You fucking weirdo, With fucking fat ass, bro. Attack. Come on, man. It's also revealed that the suspect had a lengthy criminal history. During the investigation, police also found that the Dodge Journey he was driving had been freshly painted, most likely in an attempt to avoid detection. Disturbingly, two weeks before the incident, the little girl mentioned to her school principal that a man in a white car had pulled up to her bus stop and talked to her, but no actions were taken by the school to protect her. After the attack, Jared Stanga was charged with attempted kidnapping of a child under 13, aggravated assault, and battery. Luckily, the girl was reported safe, though obviously pretty shaken up by the events she went through that morning. On November 21st, 2018, a 24-year-old woman named Vanessa Donay sat in the backseat of her mother's Chevy Equinox with her two-year-old daughter as they waited for Vanessa's mom to finish her appointment at a business center in Windsor, Canada. At one point during the waiting period, Vanessa noticed a suspicious man walk past their vehicle and stare at it for a little longer than necessary. Yeah, yeah, you think he's suspicious? He's wearing one of them fucking old school hats. Fucking weirdo, and he's smoking a square. Come on, bro. Almost immediately after walking out of frame, the man doubles back around and approaches the car.
With an alarmingly casual demeanor, he then enters the Chevy through the unlocked passenger door where he finds Vanessa and her daughter sitting in the back seat. Understandably terrified, Vanessa can be heard screaming at the man. Although the rest of the incident wasn't caught on camera, Vanessa reported that as soon as the man saw her, he gave her a disturbing smile, shut the door, and took off in his black pickup truck. After she reported the incident to the cops and posted the video on Facebook, some viewers theorized that the man had maybe just seen Vanessa's daughter and thinking she was alone, he thought he could steal her. However, others thought he didn't see anybody and was just trying to steal the car. Just three days later, officers with the Windsor Police Property Crimes Unit saw the man drive a vehicle into a parking lot near the area of the incident. According to the police report, as soon as the man got out of the car and went into an apartment building, the cops followed and arrested him without incident. The man was immediately identified as 38-year-old Corey Oikel, and as it was later revealed, the vehicle he was found with was stolen, supporting the idea that he was only trying to steal Vanessa's car and not her daughter. Inside his car, the cops also found several stolen items from his previous car thefts, along with a bunch of random receipts that indicated the man had made fraudulent transactions using stolen property. As per the court documents that were released a couple of months later, the incident with Vanessa wasn't exactly Corey's first rodeo. After the cops were able to connect him with several other similar incidents from earlier that year, Corey was charged with four counts of possession of stolen property, three counts of theft, two counts of assault, uttering threats, attempted theft of a motor vehicle, theft of a motor vehicle, theft of mail, and fraud. Bro, see. Fortunately, Vanessa was smart enough to scare him away by screaming. Look how this nigga walking like. Do -do 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 it would have been nice if you have hopped in the car and she would have fucking turned you into a pack, bro. This that would have been great. was captured in 2017 in Thailand. On the morning of December 26th, a 32-year-old radio operator named Mana was Your looking phone at his phone and he back towards nah, his my bad, my bad. That was racist. When he had an was that racist? near-death experience. They said Thailand, so I, I... My bad. My bad. What the... F oh, man. The grace of God, bro. This nigga almost got packed up. Oh! As soon as he walks by the power line, the electricity cables above his head spontaneously explode. Had he taken a fraction of a second more to react, Mana would have been struck by the power line, which would have most likely been fatal. As he later revealed in an Damn. interview, the explosion was caused by an electrical fault due to overheating, which melted the nearby wires. At the time of the incident, the city had seen some pretty heavy rain, which only made things worse. According to sources close to the victim, some cities in Thailand are known for notoriously dangerous overhead cables that litter the streets and pose a significant risk to those who find themselves walking under them at the wrong Thailand, time. Thailand, bro, fix your shit. Luckily, Mana was able to walk away unharmed, but the incident obviously raises a huge red flag to how electricity is structured in some of these cities. Yeah, I'm glad he got away safely, bro. The grace of God, man. On July 23, 2023, a woman's dash cam captured a particularly disturbing incident in Oakland. The footage follows the woman driving down Skyline Boulevard behind a white Dodge Charger. The poor video quality could be due to the woman's dash cam or to a possible compression when the video is transferred to desktop. But regardless, this is the quality of the original video. Yeah, the shit was Aside filmed from the with woman's a fucking potato and the steam, charger, bro. There are no other cars in sight. Out of nowhere, the Dodge suddenly slows down in the middle of the road and stops at an angle, blocking the woman's path. See. Come on now, quit around. No. Can't trust them fucking dodges, bro. Ah! What type of car she got? You can't as trust them fucking the dodges, bro. In front of her car, the driver immediately realizes something is wrong and fear begins to set in. Unfortunately, nothing could have prepared her for what she was about to experience. After getting out of their vehicle, the two men rush at the woman's car, and one of them begins banging on the window to make her get out. Although she panics and screams, the driver remains level-headed enough to step on the gas and drive away. Nice, nice. Fortunately, she was not followed and made it home safely. In a later interview, the woman, who chose to remain anonymous, said that she had been driving that route for 38 years and had never been the victim of a carjacking until then. 
Although no arrests have been made yet, the cops suspect that the same two men who attacked the woman may be linked to other carjackings in the Oakland bro. Hills area. It's discouraging, continue bro. investigating until they find the men responsible. The driver ultimately made the right choice in speeding away. Had she given in to fear and stepped out of the car, a carjacking would probably have been the least of her worries. Pros and cons to everything, man. You get a fucking nice car. You this worked all. You worked all. You, you, you didn't work hard to get you a car. You know. Got you a nice car. That's, ain't that crazy how the world work, man? Ain't that crazy? You, you didn't made it to the top. You a celebrity. You a superstar. Now you can't travel without security. Now you got weirdos pulling up to the crib. Now you got niggas trying to rob you. Niggas trying to take your stuff. Pop smoke. Niggas trying like, bro, that shit sucks, man. It sucks, bro. It sucks, bro. You didn't work hard, I got you a nice car. Yes, finally. And then niggas want to steal it after all your fucking hard work, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That sucks. In 2016 by a man named Michael Bouchard, who mentioned his dash cam captured the following incident in Denver, Colorado, as he was driving home from work one day. Keep your eye on the semi-trailer that appears in the left-hand corner of the screen. Left-hand corner. To... Uh... Oh! As the semi travels through the overpass, the driver approaches the curve a bit too fast, causing the truck to tip over and nearly fly off the overpass from Interstate 70 to I-25. As soon as the truck hits the barrier, the side of the vehicle slices open, causing hundreds of cans of Miller Genuine Craft to rain down on the highway below. After oh, the incident, beer. traffic was backed up for miles on both highways as the truck was towed and cleanup crews removed the beer that had fallen on the northbound lanes. Had the truck been going just a little bit faster, the truck would have plummeted on the road below and caused a horrible accident. Fortunately though, no one was injured during the incident. Damn, 2013, bro? That shit is fucking crazy. That shit was literally about 11 years ago, bro. God damn. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, bro. Send me videos to react to. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Well. Wow.